everyone, welcome back. Uh, so earlier this week in our social studies lessons, I asked all of my students to talk about safety with their families at home and talk about some vocabulary words like injury and harm. And I wanted you all to explore some ways that you stay safe and keep yourself from getting injured or harmed. And today I wanted to kind of dive a little bit more into that and talk about how we keep ourselves safe and what we should do in case of an emergency. Um, so I want you to sort of just recall, think about some of those ideas and things that you talked about at home with your parents um, before I begin this book. So go ahead and take a minute to do that. And then I'm going to start off by reading this book called Cuídate Siempre, okay? I wanted to read the English version but couldn't find it. So I'm going to be reading it in Spanish and then I will do the English translation. This will be fun for anyone else who is interested in learning Spanish. So Cuídate Siempre, okay? Siéntate cuando usas las tijeras o, puedes, o te puedes lastimar. Okay, so it's saying sit down when you use a pair of scissors or you can get hurt. You can hurt yourself. Antes de cada comida, tus manos debes lavar. Okay, so before you, ever, before you eat a meal, you should wash your hands. Okay, and she's doing a good job washing her hands there. Hopefully a lot of you are practicing washing hands at home. No pruebes nada sin preguntar o, tu, o, te, o te puedes enfermar. Do not try anything any, or put anything in your mouth without asking mom or dad if it's safe to eat or you can get sick. Mira bien donde te sientas porque te puedes manchar says, look carefully where you're about to sit because you can get all stained up. And if we look at this picture, I don't think he read the safety sign and it said, pintura fresca, wet paint, please do not sit. No te alejes de un adulto porque te puedes perder. Do not go far from an adult or let go of their hand because you can get lost. Siéntate correctamente. No te vayas a caer. Okay, and this is one that Miss Portillo tells a lot of my friends here in class. We try to lean back on our chairs. And then a lot, there's been a lot of times where some of our friends fall back because they are not sitting correctly. Sujétate cuando trepes porque te puedes golpear. So be, be really careful when you're doing climbing because you can fall and get hurt. Abrígate muy bien o te vas a resfriar. Dress up very warmly when you're out because you can get a cold, you can get sick. Wear the proper clothing. Pregunta si puedes tocar la mascota porque te puede morder. Ask if you can touch an animal before you do because you might get bitten, right? They might snap or bite. You always want to ask permission first. Ata muy bien tus cordones porque te puedes caer. Tie your shoelaces really tight. Because if you don't, you might trip and fall. Si montas en bici, usa un casco para evitar un clichón. Okay, so it's saying a casco. It's saying wear a helmet if you're going to ride a bike. Okay, because if you fall, you can fall and get a big bump on your head or an injury. Para evitar moretones, abróchate el cinturón. To avoid getting bruised up or hurt, please put your seatbelt on. Okay, if we get in a car accident, we could get very injured. 
Ah. Sorry, guys. Ten mucho cuidado. Be very careful. Cuando algo vayas a hacer. When you think about doing anything. Okay? Be careful. Take caution. Nada es más importante que cuidar tu propio ser. Nothing is more important than taking care of yourself and your body. The end. So I want to turn. I thought that this was a really interesting page to look at. And I was, I was, this kind of triggered me to think about what I want to talk to you guys about next. So what would happen if this girl fell from this tree? Take a minute to think about that. What would happen if she fell from the tree? Do you think that she can get really injured if she fell from that tree, if it's really high up? I think so. If she fell from the tree, she can probably break a bone, break a leg, break an arm. And if she broke one of her legs, would she be able to get up? No, she would not, okay? So I wanna talk to you guys about what you should do in this case when there is not an adult around and you need help, okay? So I, we're going to talk about emergencies, okay? An emergency, an emergency is a big problem that a community helper can help us with, okay? When I say community helpers, I mean a police officer, a firefighter, a paramedic, okay? And when there is a big problem that we cannot help ourselves with, it is very important that we call one of our community helpers to come and help us if mom or dad, grandma or grandpa is not available to help. Um, and the way that we get in touch with an emergency worker is by dialing 911. And I'm gonna show you that here on my phone. Okay, I would go to my phone, alrighty. And I know many of you don't have phones, but maybe in this case, I think mom or dad would do it. Or if something happened to mom or dad, you would probably have to get on their phone and you would dial 911, okay? And you can see I typed in 911, but I do want to let you guys know that we should only call 911 if it is a big problem and there is not another adult around to help you, okay? Okay, pardon the interruption. Um, so let's talk about some examples of a big problem that we might need to call 911 for. Uh, let's see. What if we were climbing up on the counter to try to get a candy from the top of the fridge and for some reason mom or dad was not home and you fell and could not get up and there was no one else to help? Would this be a good time to call 911? Give me a thumbs up if you think yes, or a thumbs down if you think no. Okay, I would have to say this is a good time to call 911, all righty? Um, but just remember, make sure that there's no one else around to help you, then it is a good idea to call. What if you woke up and there was a fire in your room or a fire in your house? Would this be a good time to call 911? Yes, it would be a good time to call 911 because we need a community worker like a firefighter to come put out the fire. We should never try to run in or put out a fire ourselves. That is why we have firefighters and other community helpers to help us with this big sort of problem, okay? What if you fall and scrape your knee? What if you fall and scrape your knee? Would we need to call 911 if we fall and scrape our knee? Or can we just ask mom and dad? That's correct. No, we do not need to call 911 if we fall and scrape our knee. All we need to do is just call for mom and dad. They can clean us up, put a bandage, and that is a small problem that is able to be handled at home. Very good. Um, what about if you are scared of the dark in your room? Should you call 911 if you're scared of the dark in your room? No, there is no community helper who is going to be able to come and help you 
stop being scared and it's not a big problem or an emergency. Okay, so I want to invite you guys to think about some different scenarios and situations that you might use to call a community worker, uh, where you may need to call a community worker. Think about things that are emergencies and things that are non-emergencies and have this conversation with mom, dad, grandma or grandpa or whoever is at home with you and, and talk about the differences about when we might need help and when we could resolve things on our own at home. I hope you guys understand how important it is to take care of ourselves and remain calm during um, problems and emergencies. And just remember that there is a community helper who can come and be on the way and help you in case of an emergency. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you loved this lesson. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.